tell me, do you have a lot of things on your to-do list and have great expectations for what's going to happen over winter break? We need to talk. Let's discuss why this is going to kill you. (laughs) My name is Caitlin Foss. I'm a certified life coach for professors. I help them reclaim five hours of their week every week for themselves, not their universities. And so break's coming and you're ready or it's here and you're like, what's this video talking about? And you have these ideas of, I'm going to get this project done. I'm going to make sure this happens. Oh, I could do that that I've always wanted to do. I want to read this book. Oh, maybe I'll fit a novel in there. I want to make sure I watch that movie. I want to have to do this with the family. How about I get all of this done? Sound familiar? A lot of my clients do this to themselves. I used to do this to myself as well. And it sets you, you up for failure, right? Because... The list doesn't end in a lot of ways, or you don't evaluate it. You get too excited and you make a really long list. And then if you don't step back and look at it, you get stuck in, oh, wow, this is everything I wanted to do. How could I possibly get all of this done? Okay, so that's part of what happens. The list is too long. So step back and evaluate it. The second thing would be, did you build in rest? You might have a to-do list, but what's the like to-don't list of Hey, make sure I sleep in. Make sure I do nothing and stare at a wall. This is a really common question I ask my clients. I'm like, what would it mean if you sat for an hour and stared at a wall? What, like, what's the drama that comes up if I tell you to do that? And when the mind starts to freak out about like, I can't do that. I've got stuff to do. Then I know you might be an overworker. You can come see me because I help the overworkers. It's kind of an addiction in a lot of ways. And I've been there. So recovering, overworker over here. So, and I joke about that language. I don't mean to use addiction language lightly, but that idea of urges and overworking, I understand you if it shows up for you. So if you have these expectations for the holidays and you're not building in rest, you might be disappointed on the other end of what you did or didn't get done. So then sometimes I see professors go the opposite direction. Like I'm not going to have any expectations for myself. I'll do what I want over break. And that's cool if it works for you. But when I see those professors on the other end, they're often like, I wasted my time. Oh, I didn't do anything. It was like, wait, did you remember that you weren't supposed to do anything actually? They're like, no, I mean, I said that, but I thought I'd get something done. So when we vacillate between these two options of like either all the expectations or no expectations, it's just setting us up for black and white, like either you failed or you passed. This is a pass fail class over break and there's no gray area. A lot of my clients have no gray zone. It's all black and white thinking. That's okay, right? In the scheme of things, like we just got to be aware of it and watching for it. And like, hey, maybe there is a gray zone in my expectations for winter break. So that's your homework. I want you to define and think about what's my gray zone for what could be possibilities for expectations. It would be nice to get this thing done, but only if I don't put pressure on myself to do it. Or I do really want to make this a priority. So even if it requires a little bit of determination or motivation, that's okay. Another client is scheduled in flexibility. Like I do have a December 31st deadline, but I'm going to build in times where it may or may not work, right? Of when I'm going to get this work done. There's flexibility. I'm going to build myself a little playground of options Rather than trying to put myself in a tiny little box and say, I have to do this on this day at this time. No exceptions. Right? Little box versus the playground. So I'm going to be using that concept a lot more. Like, how can you be on the playground? Have flexibility. Be in the gray zone. Whatever image works for you here. That's how I want you to think about your expectations for the holidays. So I'd love to hear from you about what you're expecting out of yourself and everyone else around you. It's a different video. Can't wait to hear about it. Talk to you soon.